Hi students, this is A. Mandri Kumar Rajesh. In this video, I would like to teach you types of Mendelian crosses. Especially, I am going to concentrate on Mendelian crosses like monohybrid cross and reciprocal cross. Before we get into my explanation, I would like to give you some important information regarding Mendel's hybridization experiment. Mendel constructed three rules to perform hybridization experiment. The first rule is selection of pure breeding parents selection of pure breeding parents the second rule is cross pollination cross pollination or the second stage is cross pollination to get hybrids in F1 generation. Why we have to do cross pollination? To get hybrids in F1 generation. The third stage is self pollination. The third stage is self pollination. To rise the hybrid plants by self pollination for subsequent generations like F2, F3 etc. So these are the three stages we have to consider in hybridization experiment. So, let's go to the explanation of crosses. First, I go with monohybrid cross. Now, we are going to discuss monohybrid cross. According to the first rule of Mendel's hybridization experiment, we have to select pure breeding parents pure breeding parent so this is the first parent homozygous tall homozygous tall and that plant acts as female that plant acts as female then this is the second parent homozygous pure dwarf and that plant plant acts as male plant that plant acts as male plant so we have selected the two pure breeding parents now I am going to define monohybrid cross. Monohybrid cross means it is a genetic cross. It is a genetic cross between parents, between parents differ in their alleles, differ in their alleles and they have possess allele for only one particular character, only one particular character that is called stem height that is called stem height so these two parents having alleles for only one particular character that is called stem height then one parent having two dominant alleles and other parent having two recessive alleles this is called monohybrid cross now we are going to make a cross between these two parents so gamete formation takes place gamete formation takes place during gamete formation the alleles get separated by the process meiosis separated by the process meiosis and the produced gametes are possess 100 percentage of the dominant allele that means the capital T by the female plant in the case of male plant the gametes are produced and it possess 100 percentage of small t 100 percentage of small t and that gametes are ready for fertilization according to the second stage of hybridization experiment we have to do cross pollination so the gametes allowed to do cross pollination cross pollination
cross pollination means nothing but a transfer of pollen grain from anther to stigma of different flower is called cross pollination cross pollination involves the following five steps they are emasculation the second stage is bagging the third stage is debagging the fourth stage is dusting of pollen grains and the final stage is rebagging i explain the steps one by one with this cross so it is a pea plant so the flowers are bisexual so this plant acts as a male and this plant acts as a female so we are going to write the four words of the flower they are calyx corolla andrisium and kinesium and kinesium so the female parent going to get pollen grains from the male parent so in this plant in flower we have this four holes so we have to remove this andrisium to prevent self pollination to prevent self pollination so the andrisium sort removed from the female parent to prevent self pollination and that process is called emasculation and that process is called emasculation and the flowers are covered by the paper that is called bagging then after the maturation of gynesium the bags are removed that process is called debagging so after the maturation of gynesium the pollen grains are transferred from the male parent to the female parent and the pollen grains are dusted on the stigma of the female parent and that process is called dusting of pollen grains again the flower is covered with bag that process is called rebagging fertilization takes place and forms f1 generation and forms f1 generation fertilization takes place and it forms f1 generation in f1 generation all the young ones are tall all the young ones are tall and they are said to be hybrids and they are said to be hybrids because all the young ones are differ from both the parents that is why they are said to be hybrids then according to the third stage of mendel hybridization experiment we have to do self pollination to rise f2 generation so we are going to do self pollination f1 cross with f1 capital t cross small t capital t small t the gametes are produced with b <coughs> one with the dominant allele <coughs> then other with the recessive allele one with the dominant allele other with the recessive allele then the same cases will occur here also one with the dominant allele other with the recessive allele then the gamete should be plotted in punnett square the gamete should be plotted in punnett square the male gametes are plotted in the rows male gametes are plotted in the rows so 
this is a male and the female gametes are plotted in column female gametes are plotted in columns fusion of gamete takes place <coughs> capital T capital T forms the tall M1 capital T small t forms the tall M1 capital T small t forms the tall M1 small t small t forms the dwarf M1 so phenotypic character would phenotypic ratio would be Three is to one. The phenotypic ratio shows seventy-five percentage of tall young ones and twenty-five percentage of dwarf young ones. Then genotypic ratio would be one is to two is to one. Capital T, capital T. Capital T, small t, small t, small t. Then the genotypic ratio shows 25 percentage of homozygous pure tall plant and 50 percentage of heterozygous or hybrid plants, hybrid tall plants, and 25 percentage of homozygous pure dwarf plants. So this is called Mendelian monohybrid cross. Now I am going to explain the reciprocal cross. Reciprocal cross means is a cross involving two types of individuals. When the male of one type is crossed with the female of second type and vice versa. Reciprocal cross are helpful in studying the sex-linked characters. Now I explain the cross very clearly. This is a monohybrid cross. In the first experiment, this parent acts as female, and this parent acts as male. In the second experiment, this parent acts as female, and this parent acts as male. That is called reciprocal cross. Mendel conducted reciprocal cross. to find out whether the young ones from the monohybrids were sex linked but the results of reciprocal cross were same compared with monohybrid cross so mendel came into an conclusion the results of monohybrid cross were not sex dependent so this is called reciprocal cross then in our book they mentioned an important method that method is called four claim method that method is used to figure out the phenotypic probability and genotypic probability of dihybrid trihybrid and polyhybrid so that is an important method in my future video i will explain that method then i am going to conclude this video session i hope you all enjoy this video if you have any doubt please please clarify with me Thank you very much. Stay home and stay safe. Thank you.